think we can all agree that crocodiles are one of the most badass animals on Earth. Not only are they terrifyingly cunning predators, but they also outlasted the dinosaurs. Today on Feed My Curiosity, we're going to examine the various theories as to how crocodiles survived on Earth through the cataclysmic events from 65 million years ago that killed off so many of the powerful, majestic creatures that once roamed the Earth. Before we get started, the truth about crocodiles is that we don't know exactly how they survived on Earth when dinosaurs didn't. We just know that they did. To try and understand how they outlasted the dinosaurs, scientists look at certain traits in crocs that make them uniquely able to persevere through intense conditions that would kill off most other organisms. First, we are going to look at the prevailing theories as to what caused the dinosaurs to go extinct so we could better understand how crocodiles lived on. Most scientists and paleontologists agree that around 65 million years ago there was some kind of impact event from a comet or meteor crashing into Earth's surface that sent tremors around the globe and caused extreme changes in the planet's climate, effectively killing off a large portion of life on Earth. This kind of impact would have caused extreme earthquakes, disrupted sea levels, and created massive amounts of debris that would have blacked out the sky for an extended period of time. Basically, all of the most basic needs for life on Earth were completely thrown out of whack. Other theories posit that aggressive volcanic activity could have contributed, or possibly that large-scale disease wiped out the dinosaurs. The exact reason and timeline of the dinosaurs' demise is still unknown, but we do know that whatever it was that ultimately killed them off didn't seem to bother crocodiles too much. So let's look at some of the traits that have helped these hardcore survivors continue to thrive today. One of the seemingly most obvious reasons for the crocodile survivals is that they are seriously tough customers. They have been on Earth for some 200 million years and have gone through very few changes in that time. Fossils of their remains show that their physical makeup at the end of the Cretaceous period was almost identical to how it is today. Over time, they perfected their role as an amphibious predator, and that lifestyle has done pretty well for them. Crocodiles have a generally long lifespan, averaging from 30 to 40 years, and they can go for long periods without food, largely because they are cold-blooded. This means they don't need to expend energy regulating their body temperatures like most other dinosaurs did, who then died off when food supplies became scarce. There are several examples of crocs going up to a year without food and then having no problem feeding once food arrives. And when that food arrives, it doesn't matter too much what it is, because crocs have extremely indiscriminate palates and their digestive systems can process almost anything from crustaceans and fish to birds and mammals. We also know that crocs are extremely physically tough and have a robust immune system that can withstand traumatic injuries that would spell the end of a lesser species. For example, they are known to have territorial fights in which they tear each other's legs off after which they are able to heal, but only after going off and sulking in shame for a little while. They are known to persevere with lost limbs, tails, and even parts of their jaws. They just brush it off and keep surviving. Can you imagine getting your leg bitten off and then continuing the rest of your errands for the day? Another impressive aspect of crocodiles that have allowed them to survive extinction is that they are very skilled at adapting to their environment and situation. Maybe the most telling recent example of this trait is that since humans have become dominant on Earth, not one species of crocodile has gone extinct. Even with the extents of hunting and capturing. Crocs learn quickly and adjust their habits to avoid dangerous situations. Humans even have to change up how they capture crocs for research because it becomes difficult to trick them the same way twice. Crocodiles can also be tamed quite easily and are often found in parks and zoos, performing various tricks for entertainment. While this form of existence is exploitive on the part of humans, it shows that crocs have a certain level of intelligence that some say is close to the level of dogs and cats. It is their adaptability and intelligence to adjust to their situation that has helped crocodiles become become consummate survivors. Another reason for crocodiles' longevity is their amphibious nature. With an impact event like the one thought to have happened all those years ago, there would have been extreme climatic changes due to the dust in the atmosphere. But these changes would have been less impactful in freshwater environments where crocs live. Sadly, we don't need to look any further than living conditions of some captured crocodiles now to know how they might have fared in a meteor impact scenario. They are often housed with very little light, unsanitary waters, and unsavory diets of dead prey. And yet they continue to thrive. While crocs Crocs don't deserve to live under these circumstances today, they persevere, as these are not unlike what the environment might have been like after an impact event, with dust-covered skies and all kinds of dead plants and animals falling into the crocs' habitat as the food chain collapsed. Living in freshwater environments has also helped with crocodiles' cold-bloodedness. One might think that their inability to regulate their body temperature would be a hindrance, but as previously mentioned, it saves energy, and being amphibious gives them the ideal conditions to either warm themselves in the sun or cool themselves down in the water. So between 
between their toughness, adaptability, and amphibious nature, we could see some of the reasons that might have helped the crocodiles survive the apocalyptic events that spelled the end for the dinosaurs. It also stands to reason that they could be around long after we're gone. Regardless, all of these unfathomable survival traits make crocodiles one of the most impressive and fascinating creatures on the planet. If you like what you watched or have any more suggestions, hit like and comment below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button too. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time on Feed My Curiosity.